Okay, so let's look at question 20, which is a compound probability question. Um, and it's a typical type of a problem where we're, you have a test for a disease and you're given a population um, and you know that there's a certain percentage um, of the population can test positive or negative um, or the accuracy of the test has a certain percentage and then the population has a certain known approximate value for acquiring that, that disease in this case. So our, the key statement here is that we're determining the probability of a positive test um, given that a person does not have a disease. So this is the conditional probability um, uh, setup here. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is recognize that this is a conditional probability type problem. And what we're looking at is the probability of a person that tests positive um, for the disease given that they actually do not have the disease. Okay, so in this case, the plus is going to represent the positive test, um, positive result test, and then D bar is going to be essentially meaning disease free or meaning you don't have one. So what we'll do is let's uh, build a tree first and then we'll look at how we calculate um, this conditional probability um, using um, the formulas that, that are given. So the first thing we have here is we have our population that basically says 3% of the population will get this disease. So we'll mark that by D and 0.97% of this population does not have that disease. We'll call that D bar. Okay, and then um, for each element in this, if we apply the test, um, we find that there's a 0.99% accuracy for the test, which means if you're in that um, population that would have this disease and then you take the test, 99% of the time, it will give you a positive result. But there is a small 0.1% chance that you get a negative result. And then likewise, if you're in the population that does not have the disease, um, the test is going to tell you 99% of the time that you don't have it, but there is this small fraction where you get a positive result, even though you don't really have um, the, uh, the disease. So how do we calculate this compound, this particular compound probability? So the probability of testing positive, given we don't have the disease, is basically given to you by this formula. It is the probability of testing positive, okay, and the um, probability of not having the disease. So that's something that we can find. Okay, all divided by the probability of testing positive um, in any case or in any, uh, just on any given um, sample. So if we just need to walk through the trees to tree legs here and figure out what numbers we are gonna to put together. So um, switch over to another color here, red. If we are positive and we do not have the disease, that means we go down this tree here and we go to the positive result, which is going to be right here. So the probability of that happening is 0 0.97 times 0 0.01. Okay, and then we need to find what are the probabilities of just testing positive in any case? Well, there's two, there are two parts here that you can test positive. There's the, um, the false positive and then there's the real positive one. So again, we would just have 0 0.97 times 0 0.01, but we also have to add the probability of where you, the person does actually have the disease and then they actually do end up testing positive. So that is 0 0.03 times 0 0.99. And when we work out this answer, um, we are looking here for essentially a percentage. So 0 0.0394 approximately. This will approximately give us 0.25, which is um, what our key is telling us. This means, but if you really think about what this means, this means that 25% um, of the, 25% uh, of a person who reacts positively to the, to the uh, person who reacts positively to the test 
um, does not have the disease. So 25% of all um, positive tests, okay, um, in 25% of all positive tests, um, disease is not present. Okay, so that's quite a large, large number, but the fraction of, given this, uh, the way the population works out, and then the way the, the test is, is that is the, the answer that the, the probabilities are telling us. Okay, so that's how they generate that 0.24 there. Um, if uh, this formula here is a little bit confusing, um, I would just refer back to uh, some of the slides in lesson four. Um, you will, uh, in the video sequence, you'll see that they do this given probability formula. Um, and this is just a rearranged form of it because we're essentially needing to expand it out and work out the individual probabilities there. Okay, so hopefully that helps out and that's um, clear in how you can do this question. Um, the key to this problem is really to just build the tree because the tree tells you all the positive and negative cases and also the, the roots and the values in which you need to multiply in order to, uh, to make sense of this. Um, because if you don't actually have the diagram involved, it's going to be really hard to figure out those, uh, those values and to see them clearly.